there we go. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm running slightly late here, so I'm not even on loaded YouTube. Or... Anyway, I can just about see the screen. So who's here? Who's here? Andrew's here. Steven's here. Uh, I can't write. I'm going to have to just bear with us just a sec, folks, while I get on my stream. Yes, yes. So tonight we're taking a look at Group the Loop. Group the Loop. Yes, yes. The intelligent looper, it says. Uh, I, I love this looper, lots and lots and lots and lots. As most of you will probably already know, uh, I do. I do find this, the workflow of this to be really, uh, really clever and intelligent and easy for me to follow. Um, considering that there's so much involved in, in in the app, you know, so you can loop so many different things in so many different ways, sort of thing. So. Let me just see his ha ha here. Oh, Wal, uh, Wal's here. Hi, Wal. Now, listen. This what you're about to hear now. So, uh, some of you may know that Wal uh, sent me one of his beautiful uh, cigar box guitars. Uh, you can't really see it here, but I can definitely show you the dun, 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 like that. And we're going to be doing a bit more looping with that. But this this entire thing that you're about to hear, apart from, of course, the drum track, which is this one here. Um, thanks to you, my hero. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, apart from the, the drums here, all of this I recorded this morning with Wall's guitar and I applied some effects and stuff. Now, I'm going to show you this, this will be a full tutorial for Group the Loop, so it's, a, it's an exceptional looper and perfect for like things like guitars, keys, anything you like. You see, we it accepts audio input here, so we can just open up this and you can see you can receive but you can also record into app audio in as well and if you set it up in in audio bus or whatever you can record in your auv3s now let's just say i'm going to just start this off and give you a little a little taster of the kind of cool stuff you can do <laughs> and then we'll get into the tutorial side of it yeah So I just swapped there, you saw I swapped my audio interface to 3 and 4, which is the Steinberg UR44, which is the Modi X. So I could then overdub any of these things that I've just done. Right, thanks. 
Oh, thanks, Stephen, for the comment about my guitar playing. I think it's more more that was three string three string cigar box guitar sounds really great, and it's a lot easier for me to play than a six string one. That's for certain. Okay, so when we have a group running like this. You can, as you saw, you can mute any of the tracks like this. Just by tapping on it. So you've got mute and solo. Ah, uh, you see, that was me mode the X. So you just swap between whatever input you want to use. And then you've got solo. And then you can also stop in a sec. You can also overdub any of those tracks. And not only that, you can you can take hold of any of these tracks. So say for instance, I wanted to say, well, I, I'm quite happy now, but I want to continue to build my four loops up. You just hold on to one of these, and this this is where you want your mix to be. You make you want your mix to be right at this point. Well, I'm quite happy with that, so I'm going to hold. Actually, no, I'm going to copy this. So what we can do as well is we can add a new group like this, okay, and then just hold on to any of the loops and then drop them in there. Actually, I'll do this first. <laughs> This is a this makes a lot more sense. You can move a loop around. So I'll use my mouse pointer. Like so wipe my screen as well. That, 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 that. You can pick up any of the loops that you've recorded. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna get into I'll set up a completely clean session in a sec. Hold on to any loop and you can move it around wherever you like, into the master group section or into another loop section like this. Or you can just swipe down. Tap over one, so you can swipe down any room. Tap over one like that, and you'll get to the label, copy, and export menu. You can label any of these loops as well. So you could go copy, and as soon as you hit copy, little paste appears anywhere you can paste it you like, okay? So, hi, Dean. So just go paste that there, and then we shall just drag down, move over, copy, paste, drag down. Move over, copy, paste, and then drag down, move over there, copy and paste. So now we've got an identical group four loop. Okay, so this is going to be exactly the same as group three. So what I want to do now is I want to be able to merge some of these tracks together. Okay, so let's go. I'm, I'm really happy with the guitar sections for this part. So that's fine. So I'm just going to, I'll do it with the mouse pointed again. Hold on to one of the loops till it, you know, becomes free. And then move it to this one on top of there like that. And I can let go. And it'll ask me if I want to merge it into a single loop and delete the original loop. Or copy and merge. So if I copy and merge, it will merge the two, but it will leave the original loop there. So I could then move move it somewhere else. But I've I've already got it in group three, right? So we'll just go right. Okay, merge. And I've got I've freed up my track, and I'll do the same with this one. Pick it up like that. Go like this, and just go merge. And now I've got two free tracks, but the complete loop, like this. means now that I've set my set my input to three and four which is my piano so I can record a bit of a piano loop there now what's cool now is where it says times four here I can now set a new time length uh, of eight now you can change this you can have it go four five six seven eight nine and stuff like that but we've got loop multiplier on I think yeah, instead of having it as a clock multiply, we could go add. 
and then it'll just be going 7654 or if you go into here which is a lot more sensible for me click multiply on and then what happens now is it will go 4 keep an eye on this it'll go 4 8 16 32 64 or 128 so you can have up to 128 bar long loop okay so i think that's a little bit too much for what we want so i'm going to set this at 8 like this and I'm going to record a little bit of my piano into uh, this second one here. So I can just have a mess around. As soon as I hit the plus button, I'll get a cue point and it will count when it gets to the last four. Gives me a nice bit of time to play a bit of piano. There we go. Done deal. Swipe down. Too, too loud. Turn it down in the mix. We can pan left or right, but you wouldn't hear that anyway. Now at this point, you see there you've got effects. See where it says effects, we'll hit that. You have three effects slots you can use per loop. Okay. So we could, and we have some built-in effects here. We have some reverb, some, I think that might be delay, low pass filter, high pass filter. And I think it's a noise gate. And then we can open up this effect slot here just by tapping on it. And there's the built-in effects. But then we can also use all our audio unit effects as well. And there's another very, very cool thing we could do here with these effects. And I'll show you that as well. But I mean, I'm, 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 I'm really happy. I suppose I could... We could stick a black hole on the piano like this. And because it's a UV3, once we tap on it like this, ding, we, it's there on our screen. And that's going to be applied to the one that's recorded, not the input. We can apply it to the input as well, I'll show you. So what I'll have to do, I think the best way to show you this, actually, I will open it and I'll just move it out of the way. Let's grab hold of it. What did it be doing now? There it is. I shall just switch that off again, like that, so we can see it. And I will tap on it and I will solo this one. So we're just hearing a piano with the black hole. Well, that sounds, that, that actually sounds really nice anyway. Maybe a bit much. So quick stop there. So let's add another another group uh, loops, and I will swing over the entire mix here. So remember, it's dead easy now. <coughs> All we need to do is swipe down, go like that, and I'll go copy. And this is our our original four track, four tracks of guitar. And I will I will put the drums in as well. Actually, no, I won't. I'll, I'll do something different with the drums. Um, I will no. I will put the drums in. I will put. I will. Or shall I not? Shall I just leave it blank like this? So it goes back to. Yeah, let me turn the metronome on. This is just the metronome, and I shall this time swap my input to. Number two, which is the gut guitar. So which is the
And this time what we can do is, and this is very cool, you like this folks. Just let me stop that metronome. What we can do now is we go to our settings at the top here. Okay, we can open our settings and uh, go back to settings, that's sessions. Go to audio input like this. So you can have different drum patterns and stuff playing for a, a loop, but we'll go to audio input and we can apply effects. Now, if any of you are really quick on this, you'll realize that you'll you'll realize that applying AUV3 effects, and we have up to three effects we can apply to the input. So this will record. We can save up on CPU once we just swap these these out, you know what I mean? So let's get a sound for the guitar for this. And um, let's use an AUV3. Uh, we could use something like, um, actually, we could use something like Stark. I find um, Stark, Stark, where's it where to be? Is that it there? Yeah, we could go with Stark, which is kind of a guitar amp anyway. And we'll open that up and we'll make some adjustments to the sound. <laughs> Um, let's see, and we want maybe some guitar overdrive and maybe a ooh, bit of vintage. <laughs> Three strings, folks. Three strings. <laughs> it's awesome. Tune to, uh, what was it? Tune to uh, G, D, G. Open G tuning as well, so makes life really easy. Now that noise is obviously the amp simulator, but we could stop that with a Bruce Free if we wanted to, but hell's teeth, let's leave it in. <laughs> it's better. Let's put a bit of reverb on. I am going to be doing a video where you can actually see the guitar as well, because it's a, just a beautiful thing. Right, so I'm going to play something like maybe Tenny output put down a little bit because I don't know if it needs to be that loud, but we shall, we can see. Let's move out of the way. Uh, so that be that'll be fine for my guitar settings for this. So I'm going to do this in this, didn't I say? And I'll have the thing on. So I can, I can just have a mess around now. At the moment, it's still set to eight bars, but we could turn it back to four. over the top of it you know <clears throat> so I, I quite like that actually so I'm gonna Now, because that because that has been applied, maybe I should try. <laughs> Epic Hose. Oh, Joe's here. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Yes, yeah, Stephen. Gosh, have his wrecked in it. Um, okay, so now the point of this is this is lovely because what we can do now is go here. I mean, we can get rid of Star, saving on CPU, but because it's been embedded into the recording, you see.
So you can see, and the session, sessions are auto saved. So let's set, let's set a fresh session up. <clears throat> right, okay, so hang on. We're gonna set a fresh session up. So it's gonna be auto saved, so it's absolutely fine. So you'll know exactly where this is going um once we do this so new uh we go back to our settings we can set the session up from our, our our manager here but from the very first thing you can go oh look 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 session but you can go new session so we can go we'll leave this as session nine create like that and also i would i would like to say the audio kit k7 loop has just got um au auv3 as well this isn't a UV3, by the way, but, you know. Um, but it, someone said you can only run one instance of it, which is really weird. I, I can't see the point of it being any... It's got stereo as well now. Well, there you go. Right, okay, so completely fresh session. If we turn off Q here at the top, if you just wanted to... the the, the To detect the tempo. So you can... let's. Set our input here to um, three and four because I haven't got Bluetooth pedal or anything like that. Um, why haven't I? Oh, that's weird. I haven't got any. Why haven't I got? I've got input coming. Why haven't I got input coming out of my ears? That's weird, isn't it? Hmm. Let me see. oh monitor. Duh. Let's see what we've got. Right, so theoretically, if I just play, a, if I don't. This is. Let me just change the tempo to something, because it, it's not going to know. But if I switch on, it will detect the tempo. So if I. I can, it's easy to do that with drums. So let's put on a keyboard sound. We can just hit record, but like this works like any other looper. It There's no counting now, okay? So it's waiting, it's gonna wait till it hears, but it will just start to record as soon as you hit this. So this would be like if you added set up to a pedal, easiest thing to do, but let's do it like this, so. And it'll just carry on recording until I press stop again. So it's, de it's detected the tempo at 123 BPM. Delete and reset. <clears throat> but I don't want to do that because that's not how I record. So I'm going to switch Q back on. I've, you can set the metronome length. If you have a look up here. You can set the, like I said, the clock multiply. The time signatures are exceptionally, you, you've got a really good load to be going on with here. So 13, 8, 12, 8, 9, 8, 7, 8, 6, 8, 5, 4, 4, 4, 3, 4, 2, 4, and 1, 4. Uh, lots to do there. Like I said, I've got this set on clock multiplier, so I'm going to have it go over four bars. What other options do you have in here? Uh, able to, you have, Ableton link, which is enabled, which is cool. In the settings, you have your audio input settings, which we've already looked at. You can, here you can set your, your input levels. It's, it's, it's reading the actual audio interface absolutely fine. So I could choose input, so that's input one, there's nothing in input one, but in input two is the actual, CBG, so That's how you can, any audio interface, you're like, but let's do something else that you haven't seen. <clears throat> because this makes sense as well. Because you may want to record like this. So let's get off there. Let's go to input this time. 
And let's go to like um blah, 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 blah. let's find me me synth master one more time. I've been good great time with it at the moment. Oh, is it nothing? I think you sit down here some more. Um bum 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 bum. <laughs> we can record into app audio in. We can't record I we can't I can't see a way to record um AUV3, which is, I don't know why, because I can use AUV3, but it doesn't matter. Now, here's Synth Master 1. We can open Synth Master 1 now, so open it there. Let me turn the volume down of that because it is super loud. Actually, I'm going to get on some sort of pad sound, I think. Um, so we can go to... Pads, where's me pad sounds? I can't, do you know what? I can't see a thing. I can't. A synth pad. There you go. Oh, synth pad. So, uh, something. Um... I want something a bit. Yeah, so we're gonna show you what we can call and we've got a little a group the loop transport bar here we can we could record from there but you know you can also set your count and I'm not sure if you set it here not sure what to, oh, I think you might set it in metro actual metronome settings uh, met, yeah here's the metronome settings so there's the basic metronomes right and then <clears throat> I thought you can pan the metronome or you can increase its volume. Uh, metronome on. But there's a way to... It's on block at the moment. So let's just start this off and you'll hear the metronome when it comes in. You can have the metronome doing hats or the metronome doing kick or sticks. There was a, I'm, I'm sure there was a way to set the counting. There definitely is because I saw it earlier. I mean, I've only got it set on one bar anyway. But um, you also have drums here. You also have a drummer, so you can switch the drummer on. Turn the metronome off and use the drummer as the metronome. And you also have different uh, kits you can use here. Like this. And then different kind of rhythms. Like that. But I think I'm going to stick with me metronome. And I will change the metronome settings, actually. I will take that off to uh, hi-hats, I think. So we'll, we can record this. Now you see how it counts along. We can wait. And it'll cue in our next thing. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> it's 
excuse me. And like I said, now we could move this over, swap it around. This bit here is like for adding, this is if you've got like, you can have, I think up to, what's quite a few, 20 loops or something, 20 groups, something like that. It's quite high. So if you've got 20, being able to, you double tap on one to get it to trigger the next loop on its next startup point. I've no idea what I played there actually. I wonder if it'd fit in with it and I can actually, I could actually play. Now, you can also, what you can also do is you can tap on these, but you can add, these are your master, you can import as well. I'm not sure if you can, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> right. You can just open up the thing like this yeah you can import loops or sounds or whatever in as well so there's no you know you're not limited you could go here and you could go oh no dog stop it <laughs> press the keep pressing the thing you press the little things you can you can hear it's this the masters are the same but the masters will play all the time you can also apply effects like this so you're not like having to keep a tap on effects. And of course, doing it like this also, you can see all the effects that you've got running in there. But like I said, applying it to the audio input, that's very cool. This is for applying it later. So for instance, so we could go, oh, that's really nice, but I bet that it sound nice with a, that it sound nice with a chorus. So we could either tap it like, not tap it, swipe down, swipe down to add some effects. Or we could just open the effects block like this and then tap an effect and then add it that way. So we could add some uh, some of the internal reverb, maybe. I'll be playing in G forever now on. So we can add effects that way. And in this one, we can rename the entire group. We can set the mix level of the entire group. You know, we can do it independently for each, each kind, of, kind of thing. Or we can clear all loops. Uh, we, it's like sort of a similar thing where you can delete all loops and remove the group sort of thing. Or you can keep the group and all its previous effects and stuff like that. And then you've got your new unique group tempo sort of thing. So you could set this group for a different tempo than you could set that group for sort of thing. If you get me drift like sort of thing. It's very, very, very cool. It's very cool beats. Now I would do in maybe in this top one, in if it if I was using the um the what's it tracks, the, the master tracks, because that gives you another four poor things and you can still move them around like you can with everything else let's get onto some sort of um some sort of percussion thing here let me change my input to three and four um industrial
Yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> for percussion. You could use, say, the top ones for percussion. Let's set this back to... And you can change this anytime you want. Whatever this set it is, is whatever the next one's going to record at. So I'm going to set that for two, like this. That was terrible. And then what you can also do is, if you swipe down like this and then go like that, I think one of these or just tap, just tap, you can overdub. And that will just continually run round now until you stop. So if you're really good with timing and playing things and like that, so so the master group plays this. Yeah, the master group, the master group in the four master tracks will play whatever you choose to choose which group you have to run. So if I had a group there, there's obviously nothing in it. And I set this to play. It's playing that group now, but there's nothing there, but it's still going to play the master track. Turn it off a sec. We could, until we go back but you can like with the others just mute it and also you could say oh well I don't you could go I don't oh, right just let me tap outside oh, no stop you can move it around the same as you can like you can pick it up and drag it into this one or you know you could copy it and paste it into this one or whatever uh, no, no, not really. Loopers really don't have quantize while um, because they're recording audio sort of thing. So you just kind of rely on put. It's a it's a playing thing, and it you know like it, it's really like a guitar uh, thing. If it was a MIDI looper, then quantize it would make sense sort of thing. You know what I mean? But no, I know what you mean though. But no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have quantize in the sense of if you play it wrong, it'll quantize. You have to play it right. Uh, you you know you have to be kind of on on the money, but it's good if you put in like I tell you what does work well. Let's just choose this as a as an example. This let's, we just switch the proper metronome on because I was miles out probably on this. We'll just delete that. This what we can do and it does work well is like I said we can import a loop. If you import a loop of say. I mean, whatever your BPM is set on, this is set on 123, set it on 120. If you import a loop of 120, that will sit nicely, depending on the length of the loop, of course, then you just set that to suit. <laughs> um, but you can get it to play drums in. If you've got a drum machine or something, let me just set this on some sort of, that's on 100 BPM. So let me <clears throat> just, Let me just set this up to record, um, sorry, shift and tempo in it, at 120 BPM. Okay. So now, three, four, one, two, three, four. All I've got to do is actually, does it side chain? No, <laughs> no, it <laughs> don't. One, two, three, four. That's a crap pattern to demonstrate this with. Let me get off that. Dun, 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 dun. What are we on here? Um, don't worry guys I'll have this sussed in a minute Ooh. 
Right, I'll swap my tempo to 120, which is, that's what it is. And I'll, I'll hit record and it comes around again and see if I can actually get it to record a loop. Two, three, four. Now, why delete that now? One, two, three, four. So now I've got a, it does more than two groups though. It does up to 20, it, let me, uh, let's see. We can just keep adding groups. One, eight, four, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, yeah, does 20, 20 groups. Sorry about that yet. Yeah, no, it does 20 groups. And then all you do need to do is it will, Whatever group you tap, it will kind of run round like that, you know? <laughs> that sounded in tune, didn't it? Right, anyway. So you can So I mean, I think it's it's just <clears throat> super, super, super powerful looper. I mean, it really is. I'm gonna record, right, so this is my, I was. This is that kind of the, how I kind of set up the thing I did earlier. And it was dead easy and it was really, it was really a lot of fun as well. So let me, I'll leave this on two. And I will set my input to, sorry, input to. Look at all these groups I've added here now. C boy. Right. And I'll, I'll just give you an idea about how cool this is, but we'll just, I'll add some, I'll add some to the input. Audio input effects. I'll just add. And I need to, I need to have that a little bit louder. The input. So I think I'll just add another effect like this, like this, and we can add a. Actually, we'll add a chorus because that that will boost our volume as well and sound nice. So we've got a bit of FAC chorus now, and uh, And metronome, I'll set our metronome as a as a drum pattern. So just for just for fun, we go uh, metronome, 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 metronome. Uh, no drum, drummer, 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 and we'll have it on a sort of blues, a bluesy type thing like that. And drummer on. Uh, metronome offers fine. Oh, so we'll drop this down. Mm -hmm. 
So four bars, four bars. We'll just wait till that tracks round. Twin, two, three, four. So there you go guys group the loop group the loop which is just well well God, what can i tell you i think it's great i do really enjoy this loop but i think it's uh i decided to, i think it's really you know i think it's easy i think the fact that the it, and it's all been changed as well this is kind of v2 now since the last time i did this is at this massive update one of the biggest parts of that update was the actual ability to uh, record. Oh, you got you can bind this to anything, all your MIDI bindings and everything. By the way, you know, so if you've got pedals and stuff like that, uh, if anyone's interested, got clock settings. I have, like I said, I like it on clock multiplier, so you go two, four. Otherwise, you're kind of tapping everything. You know what I mean, all the time, sort of thing. Um. Ableton link sync quantum to the longest loop. Uh, you can force phase alignment, uh, whatever that means. You know, it's got all sorts of stuff. It just makes it. It's just been. A, it's because it's been around so long, and Jack, the developer, has just put so much effort into making it better and better each time. I think it's just great. You got some more settings down here. Yeah. Oh, you can record your entire performance as well if you want to. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, I am going to leave you now. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed the, the sounds of uh, the cigar box, do you know what? Cigar box guitar that Wells sent me. Thanks, Wells. That is just top job, mate. I am practicing. I am practicing. It's a lot It's a lot better with... Uh, you're right, it is a... It's a lot better with three strings. I've got me pick in my mouth. It really is. It's really easy to make it sound like, you know, 
really nice. I'm gonna check. I'm, I'm gonna have to unplug because it's up. I've tangled up my cable now. My guitar cable. Um, hang on. It's a heck of a lot. It's a heck of a lot more fun than playing an ordinary guitar. I tell you, <laughs> it will sound that when I when I do a prop, I'll do a proper video with it so you can see it. But what I'll that's my guitar cable. Tell me when I turn off. When I um, do a proper video with that, I'll have it. I'll run it. You can you'll be able to see me playing it. I use playing it the loosest the loose terms possible. And uh, but I'll put some shimmer on it and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll, we'll get all bluesy with it. It's, well, it's easy to get bluesy with it because it's only got three strings. It's great. Not that I'm any kind of expert, but it is fun. Guys, I'm getting really out of breath now. So um, where are we? Hang on a minute. <coughs> Now, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but I'm sure something will crop up. I will do the K7 looper as well. Yeah, UV3 version, you know, as well as uh, whatever else. But tomorrow, I don't see like this. What is it tomorrow? And I know that it's Russ on Thursday. Music night with Russ Thursday. So, yeah, awesome. Um, I think that's it, actually, guys. Guys, I'd like to say thanks to Wal, to Hozza, to uh, Turquino, Spider Ice Midas, everybody. Stephen Rimmer, Andrew Fox, Three Stig, and everybody else who commented and turned up as well. Uh, thank you very much. If I haven't mentioned you, I'm so sorry. Uh, but the stream kind of disappears faster than I can actually, uh, excuse me, keep up with it. So, uh, um,. Yeah, I think I think I pretty much everyone who was here is kind of who was, who was commenting. I've I've mentioned, I think, but if I haven't mentioned you, I do apologize. I am I am very sorry. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's uh, oh Hosa Hosa didn't really mention you, did I, mate? Um, uh, let's say Rustic, he was here earlier. I've just Andrew Fox, hi Marcus, Kevin Martin. I've just ran up. Past the the what's it's uh I think that's about it guys uh, Daniel from the Productions of Vaughn and of course my my amazingly brilliant wife Joe who's also here keeping control uh guys thank you very 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 much for watching I hope you enjoyed Group the Loop um if you after a looper it's definitely one to consider if you haven't already got it because it has been out a while and uh, yeah brilliant. I think it's about, I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's about $14.99, about 15 quid, $15, something like that. Yeah. So I think it's a quite good value for the money, actually, for what it does. You know, you can use your own AUV3s. I like, one of my favourite things is being able to put the AUV3 in on the actual. I ramble. It, yeah, I do. She's right. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go, guys. I'll see you later. I'll give you a minute to say to each other. Bless you all. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>